peace, peace and blessings. There we go. <laughs> peace and blessings. Hotep, peace. Welcome. Uh, so we're going to get into a 60 minute Hermetic Yoga Flow. My name is Jeanette of Fruits of Life Yoga. Just adding a little comment. How are you? Where are you tuning in from? And were you with me yesterday uh, for the flow? Welcome. Uh, let's just add this comment. And we'll be, we will begin in about four minutes. Uh, so feel free to grab your maybe two blocks, a blanket, your mat, and a beautiful sacred space so that we can flow together. Hi, how are you? Yes, Fruits of Life Yoga. That's me, Jeanette. And we're going to grab a mat. Just make notes here. <laughs> Hi, where are you tuning in from? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Amber, I see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Have a mat. Two blocks are optional and um, can be useful. And a blanket. And I'll wave to you all in a moment when I put this post in. <laughs> okay. And let's pin that comment. Yay! That part of the mission is accomplished. <laughs> Drea, how are you? Welcome. So nice to see familiar folks and some folks that are returning. Fortified by Yoga, nice to see you here. Thank you for joining me here. Britt, hi. Welcome, welcome. Peace and blessings, Hotep. So we'll have um, about uh, two minutes. We will begin our 60-minute flow. So if you're going to be with me and we're going to flow together, I invite you to uh, create your space, right? Grab two blocks in the blanket. And um, for those that are joining me for the first time, feel free to let me know where you are tuning in from. We are going to do a 60-minute comedic yoga flow. And um, this is day two. Uh, give thanks to Melanin Moves TV. Um, this is our second day offering a flow on Melanin, Melanin Moves TV. Yesterday I was a little chatty. <laughs> so today I'm going to, you know, Let's get right into the practice. So give us about a minute to get ourselves situated. Gather your things. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them. Hey, Atlanta, ATL, peace. Good, good to see you. Um, if you have any questions about the practice, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll adjust them in the few minutes after class. And um, let me know if you can hear me well. If the music is a distraction, it shouldn't really be too loud. Um, but I, sh I probably hear it louder than you do, <laughs> so I'm just going to lower it a little bit for my sake. Yeah. All right, thumbs up if you hear me good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 60-minute comedic, comedic yoga flow. Um, breath work, movement, intuitive movement, connection to source, spirit, life. Yes. All right, so... I'm going to sit here for a moment as we begin and I get you situated. I invite you in this moment to, and thanks for the thumbs up on the sound check. I appreciate that very much. Preppy locks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. So I'm going to situate you and um, we will begin in what is known in Kometic Yoga as Sahu. Kometic Yoga is an African practice. Sahu is uh, known as the mummy pose. Uh, typically or traditionally in other practices known as the corpse pose or dead man's pose. Uh, we come into Sahu. So we're going to learn together as well as move together, breathe together and grow together uh, throughout this journey of this month in January, Monday and Tuesdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 Central. As you release your body into Sahu, release your shoulders into the mat. So you want to fully let go onto your mat. And allow your feet to fall away from each other. Maybe point toward the corners of your mat. Allow your ankles to release onto the earth, onto the mat. Allow your legs to release onto the earth, onto the mat.
Allow your hips, your pelvis to release onto the earth, onto the mat. Welcome, welcome. Hey, peace. Allow your body, your lower back to release into the earth. Allow the earth to rise up to receive you. In connection, in Sahu, fully released onto the mat. The mummy pose, some know it as the corpse pose and other practices. So we're grounding ourselves to begin our practice. In Kometic Yoga, our practice is very much connected with the breath. Movements are slow, intentional, and absolutely in connection with energy flow. Allow your mid back to release into the earth, as well as your upper back and shoulders. Release any burden that you carry upon your shoulders, any burdens of the day, anything that's heavy upon your heart, release it to the earth as the earth receives, recycles, transforms. Allow your arms to also release and relax into the earth, onto your mat. Notice how the earth feels beneath you how the earth feels behind your head, and how supported you feel in this moment. Allow your jaw to soften if your jaws are clenched. If you find any tightness in your mouth, release any tightness you feel in your mouth, including your tongue. Soften your cheeks. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Soften the forehead your temples, soften the eyes behind the eyelids and find stillness. Even when we feel we're not doing anything, we are doing so much because we're tapping into energy, tapping into spirit, tapping into the breath, which is life force. In Kemetic Yoga, it is known as Shu. In other Eastern practices, it's known as Ki. Chi, prana. Ultimately, we're tapping into life force, allowing ourselves to be fully connected in this moment without any anticipation, expectation, attachment. I invite you to inhale through your nose, allow your belly to expand. When you reach the height of your inhalation, pause. Hold the breath. Open the jaw and exhale through the mouth. Then pause. Inhale. Expand. Pause. Exhale, maybe with a sigh. Pause. Inhale. We're releasing completely into the mat, into the earth, and also expanding with the breath as we inhale through the nose. Pause, hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth, cleansing breath, sigh, let it all out. Anything that is burdening you, release. Then pause. Two more full cleansing breaths. Maybe push the air a little more forcefully this time. Inhale through the nose, expand. Pause, let go. Exhale through the mouth. The belly contracts, the navel draws toward your spine. Pause. And one more. Inhale, expand fully. The expanse of Newt, the universe. Pause. Exhale fully through the mouth, let it all out. Ah. Pause. Wonderful. Tap into your natural flow of breathing, right? And just notice, just notice your body. Notice the state of your being in this moment. Now we're going to transition into the rule of four breathing where we are inhaling and exhaling through the nose so seal your lips soften your tongue if you like to touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth feel free to do that 
maybe try to reach back toward the hard palate as a way to connect the energy systems, the subtle energy systems throughout the body. And we're really taking our time to connect with breath before movement. This is very grounding for ourselves and our practice. Feel free to place your right hand three inches below your navel and your left palm on top of the right. Allow the tips of your thumbs to touch, creating a pyramid at your center, at your core. Rule of four breathing, inhale through the nose, expand. Again, pause, exhale through the nose, allow the belly to contract, deflate like a balloon, navel toward the spine. Pause, inhale through the nose, allow yourself to be in complete oneness with spirit, breath, pause, exhale through the nose, release as you ground fully into the earth, fully into this divine temple, fully surrendering, pause. Two more, rule of four breathing as I guide you. Inhale, expand into the belly. Find the fullness, abundance. Pause. Exhale through the nose, allow the belly to contract, deflate like a balloon. Exhale through the nose, fully. Navel toward the spine. Pause. Continue breathing, utilizing the rule of four. This is the practice that we will utilize throughout the breathing practice and technique that we will utilize throughout our practice. You feel free to release your hands alongside the body. I will meet you on the mat. And just be in full connection with yourself, with your body, with your breath, and move with intention as we flow together. Inhale the left knee toward the chest. Allow your hands to interlace, maybe below the knee or behind the thigh. Exhale, squeeze. Point the toes toward your face. Inhale, lift the right leg. Allow the leg to hover over the mat. Exhale, squeeze the left leg. Inhale, lift the head away from the earth if that does not bother your neck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exhale, squeeze, toes toward the face. Inhale. Exhale, release the head down. Release the right leg down, ground the left foot. Raise the right knee, ground the right foot next to the left. Inhale, lift the right knee, thigh toward the chest as you interlace your hands below the knee. Exhale, squeeze and release the left leg. Allow the left leg to hover over the mat. Point the toes toward the face, inhale, Exhale, squeeze, right thigh to the chest. Inhale, lift the head, direct the chin toward your knee. If that works for your neck, exhale, squeeze, right thigh against the chest, toes toward the face. Inhale, exhale, release the head down. Release the left leg, ground the right foot. Lift the right knee, meet the right foot, inhale, right, excuse me, left leg, left thigh toward the chest, squeeze on the exhalation. So you can squeeze at the shin, you can squeeze at the knee, you can squeeze behind at the thigh, right? Inhale, release the right leg long, allow it to hover over the mat, point the toes toward the face, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift the chin toward the knee. Lift the head away from the mat. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, release the head. Release the right leg. Ground the left foot. Raise the right knee. 
Inhale, right knee toward the chest. Squeeze as you grab what feels right for you. Release the left leg long, hover over the mat. Point the toes toward the face, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Breathe into the spaces that need it. Inhale, lift the head away from the mat. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, release the head down. Release the left leg. Ground the right foot. Allow the right knee to meet the left knee. Both feet grounded. Inhale, both knees toward the chest. Give yourself a little hug as you squeeze and rock a little bit from side to side. So our practice really is about loving upon yourself, being in connection and grounding with our ancestors, grounding with breath and connecting with spirit. Find stillness, release the right leg long. Right hand rests on the hip. So I'm just going to adjust my body here. Right hand is on the hip, grounding. Left leg comes into the chest once again. Place the hand on the knee and open as you exhale. Open the left knee toward the left. Just bring awareness to the hip and let's make circles as you breathe. Bring it down and in. Three circles. Open to the left, down and in. One more. Open to the left as you continue to breathe, down and in. Give yourself a little squeeze and then release the left leg, left palm on the hip bone. Inhale the right knee toward the chest. Squeeze, hand on the knee. Exhale to open toward the right. Bring it down for three hip circles and around up. Two more. Breathe as you open up the hip. Stabilize the left and one more. We hold so much in these spaces. We wanna let go of that tension and give yourself a little squeeze. Allow the right leg to release and relax all the way down. Point the toes toward your face. Allow the palms to hover over your thighs. You can inhale to lift your knee and continue to breathe as you rise in this way to come to seated. And if that's too much for you, just roll over to your side, adjust your body and come into a seat. <clears throat> Once you come into the seat, your legs are long in front of you. Welcome those that just arrived. <clears throat> left hand comes under the left knee. Guide your left knee up. Right hand hooks into the ankle. Draw the heel closer to the glutes. Release the left hand and press the left knee closer toward the body. Maybe adjust your breasts if you need to. Point the right toes toward the body. Inhale, raise the right arm up so you can extend the spine. Exhale, wrap the right arm into the inside, right arm around the knee. So the knee comes to the inside of the elbow and anchor yourself right here. Maybe adjust slightly, look toward the left. Inhale, raise the left arm up, find length in the spine. Rotate the palm and release the arm behind you. As you exhale, find a kickstand. Find length, lift your chin gently. Inhale, chin is over the chest in this moment. Exhale and twist from the head. Cervical spine looks over, twists your chin and eyes look over the left shoulder, okay? So here we're basically not twisting, not putting too much pressure around the waist, finding a twisting sensation at the neck. Okay, inhale and exhale. As you exhale, find more length, but find also press the left palm into the earth so that you can find leverage as well. Be in that space as you breathe for one more cycle. Exhale fully. Allow the face to remain where it is and the body as well. Lift the arms up and over the head. Excuse me, um, shoulder height. Lift the arm shoulder height. Inhale and rotate the entire body forward. Exhale, release the left leg and hands to the thighs. Right hand under the right knee. Lift as you inhale. Left knee bends. 
left hand right knee bend excuse me left hand at the right ankle draw the foot in as close to the glutes as possible release the right palm and just gently press a little resistance against the knee so that the leg does not open out away from the body does not externally rotate draw the knee in the thigh in point the left toes toward the body inhale raise the left arm find length through the fingers, open up the armpit. As you exhale, find a twist and wrap the left arm around the right leg. Move the flesh out of the way as you find a sweet twist. Inhale, raise the right arm tall. Exhale, rotate the palm and release the palm down, arm down, find an anchor. Inhale, lift the chin gently. Exhale, turn the head over the right shoulder. So this is the Geb spinal twist. Geb refers to the earth in the Medunetur, the language of the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Kemites. Inhale, exhale. And we go through some gentle movement so that we can release any stagnant energy throughout the spine and lodge throughout any parts of the body that they might find themselves stuck. Inhale, exhale. Again, leave the body where it is, but lift the arms, shoulder height, rotate as you inhale, arms come in front, whole body turns forward. Exhale, release the right leg long and the palms to the thighs. Point the toes toward the face, both hands now under the knees. Guide the knees up for pyramid forward bend. Find a pyramid with the legs and the mat. The mat and the earth is our foundation, our base. Exhale, release the palms at the knees. Sit up nice and long. Inhale. Exhale, slide the hands down the shins toward the ankles. Allow the palms to cup the ankles behind the ankles if that works for you or behind the calves at the calves inhale soften the shoulders look forward exhale hinge from the waist allow the chest to meet the thighs so it's not a deep forward fold it's basically a modified forward fold ultimately we're seeking space throughout the spine now, if you find you need to release your pyramid a little bit, like I had to release my pyramid a little bit, go ahead and do that. If you need to bend your knees a little bit more, you can also do that. Ultimately, you want thighs to meet your chest without straining the neck, without straining the spine or the lower back or the legs. Inhale, exhale. Within Kometic Yoga, go ahead and take another full inhalation and exhalation. We tap into geometric progression. So there are lines, there are shapes, and the movements are simple, and sometimes they become a little more complex through the sequences we apply. Full exhalation. Release the ankles, raise the arms beyond the toes. Inhale, raise the body up arm shoulder height exhale release the hands to the knees legs to the earth and you can move your legs a little bit if you feel that you need you have that need adjust the feet come on to hands and knees allow the wrists to align with the shoulders right under the shoulders top of the feet flat hips and knees align rock forward as you inhale and exhale as you move back Again, inhale forward and back. Send some love into the hips and into the wrists, top of the feet and ankles, and come forward one more time. Then find neutral. Turn the hands, fingers toward the body. Fingers toward the body or toward the knees, right? And again, inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back a little bit. Inhale forward. Exhale, breathe into the wrist. Press the fingertips into the mat. Inhale forward, exhale, rock back. And then come forward to neutral, adjust the hands, fingers look at each other. Inhale and exhale as you make circles in one direction, maybe three times, and small circles, take care of the wrists, small little bones. Going to the other side three times. 
and then find neutral. Adjust the hands, fingers point toward the top of the mat. Move the palms one palm distance forward. Curl the toes into the earth. Inhale, lift the knees away from the earth and raise the hips up toward the sky, toward newt. Adjust the feet if you need to. Move the knees a little bit if you need to. Find the ears alongside the arms. Hips go high. Navel toward the spine. So some know this as um, downward dog. In comedic yoga, we call it Meku. The pyramid. Again, there are lines with our body based with the earth. So we find strength and connection and recognizing how divinely we're created and how even these structures had divine purpose. And when we bring them into our remembrance, remember to breathe <laughs> as we bring these concepts and shapes from ancient Egypt into our modern practice, we're able to make a more spiritual connection with simplicity because creation is simple. Our creative and manifesting power is simple. Press the fingers into the earth. Inhale onto the knee, excuse me, onto the toes. Rock forward. Exhale, hips go up and back one more time. Inhale, rock forward into a plank. Exhale, release the knees. Release the top of the feet. Release the upper body down. Move the hands closer to the top of the mat if you need to, and press the fingers for Wajet Cobra. Exhale. We're looking forward, pressing our fingers into the earth, shoulders away from the ears, heart shines. Inhale. Exhale, release the body down, bring the hands under the shoulders again if you move them, curl the toes. Inhale, press away from the earth, maybe onto the knees, and then into what into Wajet, excuse me, into the Marku, the pyramid. So we're gonna move between Marku and Wajet a few times. And if you need to come onto the knees before Merku, feel free to do that, or you can just rise in strength and power. Inhale onto the toes, activate the toes, exhale onto the knees, lift the feet as you rock forward, ground the feet. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows close to the body and release the body down and rise. Watch it. You don't have to rise up too high, you know, you're basically just showing some love to the spine right now. Exhale, release down, curl the toes. Inhale and rise onto the knees if you need to. And then all the way up, Merku, pyramid. One more time, inhale, toes. Exhale, knees. Wrap the elbows in, release fully down, top of the feet, touch the earth, inhale, rise. Exhale, release, down, curl the toes. And if you find a little more strength, bring, those el bring your elbows in, inhale, press up into the plank, and then medical. I know that's a little challenging sometimes. Walk your hands toward your feet as you breathe. Full release here. Allow your elbows to release as your palms grab opposite elbows. Inhale, maybe lift away from the earth. Exhale, release through the elbows down. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale. Make pyramid palms. The thumb and the pointer finger touch. Pyramid palms at the forehead. Exhale, palms to the earth. Press the palms away from the earth and bring the palms together. Inhale, rise one vertebra at a time with the palms up and over the head. Feet are strong into the earth. Exhale, palms to heart center. Notice your feet, allow the toes to touch. Create a space between the heels and spread your weight throughout the four corners of your feet, throughout your entire foot, through your fingers, through your heel, through the inner and outer parts of your feet. Ground yourself strong. Soften your knees if you need to. Inhale, raise up the arms. Exhale, release the head back for Tekken. Tekken is the obelisk. Represents reproduction, regeneration. Inhale, head forward. Rotate the palms away from each other. Exhale, the arms down, shoulder height. Inhale, exhale, release the palms down, arms alongside the body. 
rotate palms away from the body to open the shoulders you open it forward inhale raise the arms up three quarters exhale palms touch inhale reach tall now make sure that you're not opening your rib cage and sticking out your butt. Bring everything in, your ribs toward each other, hips down, hip bones down to the earth. Exhale, release the head back. Open the throat chakra. Look at the thumbs or the sky beyond. Inhale, look forward, rotate palms. Exhale, release the arms, shoulder height. Inhale. Exhale, release the palms down alongside the body. So we should be toward the back of the mat in this moment, right? Um, we're going to move into what's known as the um, Ma'at Ka sequence. Ma'at is a Neturu, a cosmic principle that relates to balance, harmony, reciprocity. Our palms are going to be um, open in this moment. Fingers are next to each other. Even the thumb is alongside the palms, like so. And fold your fingers into your palm gently. Allow the palms to come now alongside the body, but allow space between the arms and the body. This isn't no military vibes, right? It's free spirit vibes. Inhale. Exhale, ground yourself. So this is comedic fists. Empty your weight to the right leg. Inhale, raise the left knee. Point the toe down. Find balance. Point with the heel. Exhale, extend the leg and step forward. Adjust your weight into the left leg and ground the right. There will be space between both legs, both feet. Right foot is on about a 45 degree angle. Release the palms into comedic palms so the fingers are long. Rotate the palms away from the body to open the shoulders. Inhale, raise the arms, shoulder height. Raise the arms three quarters. Every time we raise, we want to think of raising our frequency. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, reach tall, find length, openness alongside the body. Exhale, release, hinge from the waist, allow the fingertips to reach toward the toes of the left foot. Move with breath. Remember to pause in between the breath. Inhale, press the feet and rise the upper body. Palms over the head. Exhale, release the head back. Look at the thumbs. Make sure you're not locking your knees, so find softness in the knees. Activate your quads. Inhale the head forward. Rotate the palms away from each other. Exhale, arms, shoulder height. Palms rotate forward in the same direction of your body. Inhale, rotate the upper body toward the right. So your arms here are a balance. Within the practice of Ma'at and the principle of Ma'at, we're considering uh, whether our heart is as light as a feather. So our arms represent the balance. On one side is a feather, the other side is the heart, right? Exhale fully as you bend at the elbows and create Ka. Ka represents the spirit. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the head over your left shoulder. Your forearm should be in between your eyes. Elbow should be in, in alignment with your shoulder. Inhale, chin over heart center. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. When we look behind us, I like to remember those that came before us. Inhale, rotate the entire body forward. Arms are still in Ka. Exhale, palms come together at heart center, condensing a ball of energy between your palms. Inhale, raise the left toes, bend the right knee, and anchor yourself into a semi-seat. Exhale, hinge from the waist, and extend the left arms past the left toes. Ma'aka reminds me of Tai Chi, so you want to be in that mode, right? Palms to the heart center. Inhale, raise the upper body. Exhale, ground the left toes. Inhale as you raise the arms up and over the head, and we'll do that a few times throughout this sequence. Exhale, release the head back, look at the thumbs. Inhale, head forward. Rotate palms away from each other. Exhale, arms, shoulder height. So it's a combination of movements. Our process is a combination of movements. Rotate the palms again toward the front of the body in the same direction as the body. Inhale. 
exhale hinge forward look at the toes find your back to be nice and flat so you don't want to dip too low imagine a hot bowl of, of, of soup on your back <laughs> Inhale, rotate toward the right so your left palm comes to the inside of your left foot or to your ankle or shin. Exhale, twist the upper body. So find leverage with the left palm and twist the upper body and head to look at the right palm. Rotate the body, look at the toes once again. Nice strong back. Inhale, rise, press the feet heavy into the earth, find balance. Exhale, cop, bend 90 degrees at the elbows. Again, lines, angles within our body movements. Inhale. Exhale, palms come toward each other. Everything we need is at our fingertips. Inhale, raise the arms up and over the head. Exhale, release the head back. Inhale, head forward, rotate palms away from each other, exhale, shoulder height. Inhale, exhale, release the arms down alongside the body, fold the fingers into comedic fists, nice and gently. Transfer your weight to the left leg as, as you bend your left knee, inhale, and step forward, right knee comes up, point with the toe, Extend as you exhale and step forward. Adjust the left foot, find yourself well grounded. Release the palms to comedic palms. Welcome those that just arrived. Rotate the palms to open. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, rise. Arms come up three quarters. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, reach. Find stability in your core. So don't bend back, find length. Exhale, hinge from the waist, fingers come toward the toes. Press the feet into the earth, inhale, rise. Exhale, release the head back. Inhale, head forward, rotate palms. Exhale, arms, shoulder height. Now I'm going to adjust myself so I don't give you my back, okay? Stay where you are. Rotate the palms in the same direction as your body. Inhale, rotate your body toward the left this time. Exhale, ka, bend 90 degrees at the elbows. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the head over the right shoulder. Look forward to your greatness, your manifestation, your vision. Inhale, head over heart center. Exhale, look over the left shoulder, remembering upon whose shoulders you stand. Now those can be people in our bloodline, our ancestors, even people we don't know, but we are strengthened because they, their blood runs through our DNA. Rotate as you inhale, the entire body rotates forward. I'm gonna look at you again. Exhale, palms touch at heart center. Inhale, lift the left toes, bend the right knee. My apologies. Lift the right toes, bend the left knee. I turned and that's what threw me off. Exhale, hinge from the waist and release the hands past the toes. So again, find length throughout the arms, throughout the elbows, palms to heart center, and gracefulness and balance. Inhale, rise. Exhale, ground. Right toes ground. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head. Exhale, release the head back. Look at the fingers, look at the thumb. Inhale, head forward, rotate palms. Exhale, release the arms down, shoulder height. Inhale, rotate the palms forward in the direction of the body. Exhale, hinge from the waist. Again, nice, flat, strong back. Look at the toes, arms are east and west. Gentle bend in the knees. 
Inhale, rotate toward the left. Right palm comes to the inside of the right foot, right ankle, or onto the shin. Exhale as you find resistance on that right side and twist to look to the left palm. And if turning your head is too much there, look forward. That's okay too, okay? Rotate, arms east and west. Look at the toe, flat back once again, or you know, nice strong back, let's say, in instead. Inhale, rise, feet are strong. Exhale, ka, bend elbows, 90 degrees. Inhale. Exhale, consider all you need is at your fingertips <clears throat> and bring that energy toward your heart center as the palms meet. Inhale, raise the arms, raise the energy, raise your frequency, raise the thoughts. Make sure you're not bringing the ribs open and sticking out your butt. Bring everything strong, hip bones down toward the heels, sit bones down toward the heels. Your ribs come in toward each other. Exhale, release your head back. This is not a back bend. It's really just releasing the neck. Inhale, head forward. Rotate palms away from each other. Exhale, arms, shoulder height. Now we just sealed on the right side. Inhale. Exhale, release the arms down alongside the body. Allow the fingers to come into comedic fists, a gentle hold. Transfer your weights into the right leg. As you inhale, bend into the right leg. Your weight shifts, right knee comes up, point the toe down. Exhale, release, toes touch. Release the comedic fists into comedic palms. Soften the knees. Feel free to close your eyes a moment and just notice how that sequence flowed throughout your body. Notice any sensations that you may feel or notice if nothing happened. You know? Just pay attention to what happened in this moment with your body. Inhale. Exhale. So again, that was the sequence of ma'at ka, ma'at representing balance, truth, justice, reciprocity, order. Ka is the spirit. Shu now is breath. So rock from side to side as you allow your arms to swing. Feel the wind between your arms. Maybe even allow the arms to slap on the body a little bit. I feel like this is a good way to kind of release any excess energy that doesn't serve and slowly come to stillness. I'm gonna, let's step back just one distance into the center of the mat. Inhale, hinge from the waist as we exhale. Allow the fingers to reach toward the mat, away from the body. Maybe the fingertips are on the mat. Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, knees come down to the earth. Now from here, we're gonna just adjust the hands, raise the feet up away from the earth and ground the tops of the feet. Now this might be a, a bit much, so you can sit on a block between the feet if you need to or a blanket on between the heels and the glutes. Adjust your hands, inhale, look forward, so the hands are alongside the body. Exhale, release the hips toward the heels. Inhale, the arms, shoulder height. Exhale, release the palms down to the thighs. This is known as sesh variation two. Sesh is reflective of the scribe in remembrance of the scribe, in connection with the scribe. So when we tap into sesh, we wanna Consider a very disciplined, a very um, a, a, a disciplined way, disciplined mindset, and also um, be in a space to receive, right? To to receive knowledge, receive information, receive experience, receive ritual, receive all that spirit has for you. I'm gonna breathe here for one moment. Exhale fully. This helps to send all kinds of energy into the ankles. As you further along with and practice with me throughout this month, we'll also incorporate such variation too, which is a little bit more challenging and working into the toes. Today we'll work with such variation uh, two. Uh, later down, we'll focus on three. 
I'm going to add something to this in a moment. So let's just breathe into it and feel into uh, how our ankles are feeling in this moment, how our thighs are feeling, how our, you know, our quads, our knees are feeling. If you need to rest your knees on something, you can put a blanket below the knees as well. And again, if this is too much, as you continue to breathe, uh, you can sit on a block between the heels or a blanket between the heels and the glutes. Inhale, raise the arm shoulder height, find a pyramid with your palms, and exhale, push the pyramid away from you, look through your divine perfection. So we think of a pyramid and how perfectly, mathematically, scientifically it's been designed. <clears throat> it's been a study of many. So we can also consider how divinely you've been created, how perfectly you've been divinely created. Inhale, bring the palms together. Exhale, palms come to heart center. You can release your hands to the earth as you lift up off of the heels and just wiggle it a little bit. Move the ankles, move the toes. <clears throat> We're gonna add something to that. So at this moment, ground both um, tops of the feet once again and allow your left knee to come up toward your chest. Left toes reach the distance or the height of your knee and then release onto the right heel. So our left foot is completely flat and right next to our right knee. Now if this is too much, we're going to go into the goddess pose. If that's too much, you can actually come up off of the heel and find 90 degree angles at both knees. So your ankle, left ankle and left knee match in alignment. They stack on top of each other. Your right hip and your right knee stack on top of each other. Okay, and you can go through the same sequence in this way. The goddess pose starts from here. Inhale the palms to heart center. Exhale, rotate your body toward the right. Allow your left elbow to hook into the inside of the left knee, the left, yeah, the left knee. Find resistance there with the elbow and the knee and try to twist. Continue to breathe as I inform you that you want to make sure you want to check that your shoulders are leveled. So you don't want to be like off kilter in either way. If you are in 90-90, do not hook the elbow to the knee. You want to be here. Because if you did, you'd be off kilter as well. So you want to be here. Okay? So that's notification. Inhale. Open up the palms. Allow the palms to look toward the heart. Comedic palms once again. Exhale. Spread your wings wide. Arms shoulder height. Line from palm to palm. Draw the navel in. Lean into the heel. Inhale. Exhale, look forward over the left shoulder. Inhale, chin over heart center. Exhale, look behind you, over the right shoulder. Inhale, rotate the entire body forward, arms are outstretched. Exhale, ka, 90 degree angles at the elbows. Inhale. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Again, goddess, feminine principle, representing order, harmony, nurturing qualities. Inhale, reach the pyramid palms forward. Exhale, release the pyramid palms down and lift up off of the heel. Allow the right knee to meet, left knee to meet the right, and find some rotations, find some movement with the ankle. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Adjust the hands, allow the tops of the feet to ground. Inhale, lift the right knee. Right toes meet left knee. Exhale onto the left heel, okay? So I'm just going to adjust so that I don't have my back to you fully. <laughs> Inhale the arms, palms to heart center. Exhale fully to ground yourself in this posture. So you also wanna make sure, you wanna check that your feet your feet are not bent inward, so you're not leaning onto the inside of the foot. You want to rest onto the heel and the tops of your feet will bear your weight, as well as your uh, right foot.
okay? Inhale, rotate toward the left. L right elbow hooks into the right knee. Exhale, palms to heart center. They open, the palms open up toward your heart. Middle finger touches, and again, watch where your shoulders are. Find balance with both shoulders. Inhale fully. Exhale, spread your wings, open wide. Inhale. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, heart center. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Find strength from those who have been virtuous. Inhale, rotate the entire body forward. Arms are east and west. There's a balance. One side of the balance is your heart. The other side is a feather. Exhale into Ka, bend at 90 degrees. Exhale, palms meet at heart center. Energy in your palms. All we need is within us. Inhale, pyramid palms reach forward. Remind yourself of how divinely you are created. This is a meditation and movement. Exhale, palms reach the earth. Press against the earth and lift away from the heels. Move the ankles, make circles, and then adjust the feet away so that you can have a seat and extend the legs long. Point and flex. So find yourself well seated and grounded. Allow the palms to be alongside the body. As you breathe, point the toes away from you. Point the toes toward you. Away and toward. Away and toward. So point and flex. Point and flex. And let's open up. Big circles outward. Just moving and reacclimating the ankles. And then let's do circles. So we're pointing down and out, then together. Point down, out, and together down, out, and together. Shake out the legs, shake out the knees, and scoot all the way. Point the toes to the body, inhale the arm, shoulder height, reach with, as you continue to breathe. Allow the palms to pass the toes. Draw the navel toward your spine as you slowly exhale with control, releasing all the way down. Allow your arms to release. Inhale, bend both knees. Allow your feet to be grounded close to your glutes, hip distance apart, palms flat. Press the feet into the earth. Inhale and lift the pelvis away from the earth. So within most practices, this is known as bridge. We refer to it as the spider. There are levels to it. We're just going to be here. So you want your hips to reach about your uh, knee high if possible like a nice little inclination exhale release down soften gently press the feet inhale raise the hips pause as you hold soften the glutes allow the abdom ab abdominals to work exhale release down one more time Soften, press the feet, inhale, raise. Soften the glutes. The glutes tend to tighten right here. We want to strengthen the quads and the abs. Press against the earth with your palms. Maybe even press the shoulders against the earth to open the heart a little more. Exhale, release down. Wonderful. Separate the feet a little bit wider. Place the palms again upon the heart center or your belly. Inhale. Exhale, release the knees toward the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, release to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Now you can leave your knees lifted and allow the knees to touch if you have lower back um, sensitivities. 
Otherwise, allow your arms and your legs to release into the earth, into Sahu, once again. Allow your head and your shoulders to soften, the face, your tongue can also release at this time if you were able to maintain the tongue connection. Release the tongue, soften the eyes behind the eyelids once again, soften the skin. Soften the shoulders that maybe bore a little bit throughout our practice today and maybe holding up the arms. Shoulder height is not something you do and it's something so simple but yet a little bit challenging. That speaks to what we're holding upon us that may be too burdensome. Allow the back to release, the hips to release, the thighs, the quads, the ankles, the knees, the toes. Allow yourself to be again in complete oneness and, and also complete awareness. How is the body speaking? What has revealed? How did your practice teach you today? One of the skills within our practice is patience. non-attachment, connection, self-mastery. So we want to master our body, our mind, our thoughts, so we may reflect and show up within our divine nature. So I invite you to be in complete connection and stillness for the next few moments. I'll raise the music a little bit for you. We have about seven minutes to our practice. If at any time you want to roll out, feel free to do that. If you have any questions, feel free to note them.
you are ready to begin to reawaken into this moment, I remind you to do so gently, moving your fingers and toes, moving your ankles, moving your head from side to side. Adjust your waist, your hips toward the right and gently roll over toward your left. Be easy with yourself, with your body. Allow the palm to touch the earth and be very gentle with yourself. With your breath, press against the earth and come into a seat to seal your practice with hands at heart center. And if you prefer to stay in Sahu and you have the time to do so, enjoy. And I look forward to seeing you next week, Tuesday, excuse me, Monday and Tuesday, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 12 o'clock Central Time. I give thanks for this moment. Give thanks for this platform. Give thanks for Melanin Moves TV for having me. Give thanks for all that have joined, that have flowed with me. Give thanks for your energy, your presence. Give thanks for your connection. I bless you with Hotep is peace, with Ankh Uja Seneb, health, prosperity, excuse me, life, prosperity, and health. May you be strong, may you be well, may you be clear of, of mind and connected with Shu, life force energy, with spirit, with the strength, the power, and beauty of our ancestors. If you have any questions, we have a minute. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to answer any questions if you have. If you love comments, Preppy Lux, thank you. Drea, thank you. Fortified by Yoga, thank you. You are all so welcome. I thank you. You needed this. Um, now, I tend to mess up people's Instagrams. Let me not mess yours up. Hold on. The Parent on Purpose Coach. Yes, <laughs> I can read. <laughs> the you needed this thank you so much i'm so thankful that i'm here as a vessel to share with you this practice it is a beautiful practice i love this thank you brit thank you Brittany. and um if you would like to add any additional comments to the actual live just copy and paste what you just said <laughs> because your comments get erased and it's just beautiful to for others to see um other people's reaction to the practice, you know? Um, so that when people come and see the, the live uh, replay, um, they can be encouraged to also create a sacred space and spend 60 minutes with themselves um, with this practice. So if, you, if you're able to do that, I do appreciate you. I will try to remember all of your names to thank you personally. Oh, oh, goodness. I, I, oh I almost. I almost disconnected us. Oh my goodness, that would not have been nice. <laughs> so I really do thank you. I appreciate you all. Um, so every Monday and Tuesday, one o'clock Eastern time, uh, 12 o'clock Central time, uh, we will be here, all right? So much love, much peace, much power, and many, many, many blessings. Hotep. I'm out. <laughs>